So you may have remembered from my what's in the bag video, I had a three wood that was going so high that NASA could have literally hired me to send it into orbit with the James Webb telescope. It was like 156 feet. Why it was going that high, I have no idea. But I mentioned that I got fit for a new three wood that we're gonna be putting into the bag and fortunately got delivered a little bit sooner than expected. So we're gonna check that one out today and finish this what's in the bag segment. Let's take a look at that three wood right now. got a new three wood in the bag and it's actually a brand that I wasn't expecting but I'm super happy now that I've got it because it does look really cool. It's not a TaylorMade, it's not a Callaway, it is the Strixon ZX new fairway wood and this one is actually as you can see yes it's a three plus which means that it's got a little bit of extra loft on it and I am really loving the way that this club sets up. It is the Graphite Design Tour AD I suppose that's uh, better than BC because we wouldn't want a shaft that was made before Christ was born. <laughs> Actually, what the heck does AD stand for? Doesn't matter. This is the DI7 Flex S, which I assume means 70 grams accuracy and distance. Okay, maybe that's what AD stands for because who wouldn't want a shaft with as much accuracy and distance as possible? There you go. Problem solved. I can go join the PGA Tour. Neither here nor there. I'm going to go ahead and get warmed up. Let's hit a few of these bad boys uh, with my other three wood and then we'll get uh, a little bit warmed up with this. I'm not going to hit it with launch monitor data yet because I don't want that to interfere with how I feel about the club and kind of my first initial impression of it. So let's just hit a couple shots and just see exactly how this club feels, looks, and to my eye performs. Let's head over to the range. All right, I'm just gonna get warmed up, hit a few of these. This is my three wood off the deck. I do love the look of that blue. You know, if you keep doing that, you might stay in the bag. And again, the issue that we were seeing with this is just, it, I just couldn't keep the spin down and it was just ballooning in the air. And off the deck, it's not too bad, right? I didn't have any issues with this off the deck, but my five wood was going pretty much the exact same distance. There it is again, that thing is sky high. Now the Strixon is a lot less in loft. It's 13.5 as opposed to 14 and a half. So that's a full degree less. And right away initially, as it sits down to the ball, I like the way it sits. Face looks nice and flat. It's got a good look to it. Sound is pretty good off the face. That was a little high. Let's go ahead and try to get one of these out the middle. That was just a bad swing. Good sound though. But thus far, I mean, I really like the way this thing sets up to the ball. I don't really have much feelings about the shaft thus far. It just feels pretty good. These are my first swings of the day, so. Ooh, that is wipey but i'm centering it not too bad for strike let me see if i can try to hit this a little straighter and just release it get a nice little draw on it there it is that's a bad ball but that was a good shot all right let's get the launch monitor set up we'll get some numbers on this and take a look at exactly how it's performing All right, three wood, my normal Cobra. Just hit a couple balls, wanna get some basic numbers. See how I'm swinging it today. Pull that one. Or I might have just been aiming left. Just cut across it, but that'll work. All right. A little cutty today. I'm just hitting these off the deck just to see what the difference is going to be. I don't expect it to be much. I mainly intend to use this off of the tee because I need a club that's going to give me that 250-ish range off the tee. But it doesn't hurt to kind of see exactly what both are doing. I'm 
right away we're getting the numbers we expect to see off the deck about 240 carry with this one which we expect it's 13 and a half degrees oh, that's a low little stinger go right away i can kind of see just even on the miss hits this is getting a lot closer to what i needed to play with that's just absolutely ripped I'd love to see what that looked like. Yeah, 248 in the air. That is exactly what I want this club to do. That is a very good strike. Be the ball. That was absolutely perfect. Love that. All right, I'm gonna put this bad boy on a tee and then see what it does from there too. So right away, I can just tell this is definitely the club. I like the way it feels, I like the flight. I like the fact that my miss hits are still getting that 240-ish range. It's doing exactly what we expect it to do, which is what we would expect for a club that's 13 and a half degrees. That's basically a two wood. It's almost a mini driver, if you want to call it that. So I'm going to throw a couple of these on the tee and see how it performs there, because really, that's what I bought this club for. Um, so let's set it up on the tee, and I'm going to just step on it and see if it can get that nice 250 bomb that I like to see uh, that'll cover that gap between my driver and my five wood. Let's do it. Oh, I'm going to put it right there. All right, video done. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm dead serious. We may not need to hit another one than that. Yep, that's all I needed. <laughs> Thought I would have got that over the net. Bam. That's all I needed. All right, we got it. Let's head back home. We're back. I need to stop filming in Arizona because it is way too hot. Fortunately, I'm taking a road trip, so I don't have to worry about that. And I can get a little bit out of this heat for a bit because these 110 degree days are really starting to get to me. It's making it impossible to film. All right, so when I first started hitting my original three wood from the other what's in the bag video, the issue was off the tee, it was going sky high and it just spun up too much. It's been in my bag for a very, very long time. And I think the Cobra F7 is what, maybe four or five generations old, you know? So I just knew that there was something newer out there that would probably take the spin off of it and would have to do a whole bunch with the club. But for whatever reason, my swing changed, whatever happened, it just really wasn't fitting it. And then as we went over to the new Srixen ZX, which is the 13.5, it's a three wood plus, we were seeing, you know, that spin numbers down in the the 3000s and 3000 spin 3000 spin 3400 spin maybe getting a little bit higher but overall that carry and the loft on that club just being a little bit lower and a little bit lower spinning was just giving me that you know 240 230 off the deck which is exactly what I need that club to do uh, if I were to hit it off the deck and all in all I don't really like to get too deep into the data on it but it just went the distance that I needed it to go and at the end of the day, I need clubs in my bag. They're going to do what I needed them to do. I haven't been using my three wood because, or my old three wood, because it just wasn't going much longer than my five wood in real world scenarios. All in all, I think that was a really good, quick uh, way to just show how to add a different club into the bag. And unfortunately, three woods are one of those things that you love. And I have really good memories of my three wood. And I don't think I'll sell it. I'll probably just, you know, put it in the uh, junk pile here in the back. And at some point in time, maybe I'll let it go. But We'll see what happens to it, but for now, I'm very happy to add the Strixon ZX5 wood to bleh, the Strixon ZX3 wood to the bag, and I can't wait to put that bad boy in play because now I can feel confident when I have to hit a 240, 250 number, but I don't want to go any longer than really 260, that that's the club that I can lean on. All right, I got to get packed to head on to my trip here for the weekend, but thank you very much for tuning in to my channel. Deuces, people. Let's keep it moving.